Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the final NFL quarterback index from Nick Shook around from around the NFL. He is a writer for them. And we've been looking at this throughout the season. It's been a great list, a great article to read. So thank you to Nick Shook. I mean, absolutely a delight to read these. But this is important here. Ranking all 32 teams primary starting quarterbacks at the end of the 2023 regular season. So this isn't the guys who filled in. This is the guys who started the most game or the most games, I guess I should say. Uh, but these are the guys who were the primary starting quarterbacks for their teams throughout this season. Now, you may see a couple of wonky things in here, but overall, it. I think has been taken into great context by Nick Shook is how guy, how guys were looking before there are certain types of injuries happen with a lot of quarterbacks around the league. So we're going to be taking a, a look at the final NFL quarterback index. And number one, you got Lamar Jackson probably going to win MVP. Wouldn't be very surprising. I wouldn't also be surprised if number two, Dak Prescott won MVP 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, nine picks. Um, yes, please. That's a pretty good year in my opinion. You so it might be between those two in terms of MVP awards. So just kind of an important to make a note of that. You have Josh Allen, who is in there at number three, Matthew Stafford coming in at number four. Shout out Matthew Stafford. Really, the Rams have been rallying throughout the second half of the year. To a T coming in at number five, 14 interceptions on the year. Jared Goff coming in at number six. Shout out Jared Goff. The guy has also revived his career, much like Baker Mayfield, who we'll get to in a little bit. And it's a great thing to see. He's the guy in Detroit. And I mean, really, with those stats, I mean, hey, he might get a vote or two for the for the MVP award. 30 touchdowns, 12 picks, 4,500 passing yards. That's a good year for Stafford, man. The Lions are going back to the playoffs. It's a cool story, man. Shout out Jared Goff. Happy to see him doing well. Brock Purdy coming in at number seven. He cooled off a little bit towards the end of the year, but but still finished strong with it with a very great year overall. CJ Stroud coming in at number eight. He's going to win NFL Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. There's no doubt about that. Coming in at number nine is Patrick Mahomes, who struggled a little bit this year. And a lot of that was because of, of wide receivers and whatnot, but also the Chiefs just looked off this year. We'll see how they do in the playoffs, but yeah, it was interesting. Number 10 is Kirk Cousins. I'm going to say this. If Kirk Cousins played the entire year, he legitimately could have been an MVP candidate. I mean, you see him in eight games. He had 2,331 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, and only five interceptions. That was crazy. That was crazy. I hope Kirk Cousins is able to come back from his injury and be a productive quarterback. I, I really do. He was on pace for 4,700 passing yards. He was going to shatter his passing touchdown mark of 35 before he went down. It it hurts, man. It hurts. He's probably going to go back to the Vikings. He is slated to be a free agent, but yeah, it would have been such a cool year for Kirk Cousins. Jordan Love coming in at number 11. Really underrated year. 4,000 passing yards, 32 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Kind of low key for Jordan Love. He seems like he's going to be the guy there in Green Bay. Joe Flacco with the Cleveland Browns. I believe he actually did end up starting the most games for the Browns this year. Five games, 13 touchdowns, eight interceptions. He would be another guy who would have been a candidate for the comeback player of the year. It does say that Deshaun Watson did start the most games with six, but it, this is primary. Primarily, it was Joe Flacco there the second half of the year and, and has been the guy, right? Flacco fever, baby. We're here for it. Number 13, Jalen Hurts is, again, a bit of a down year. And then you get to number 14, Baker Mayfield, finally coming in at number 14. This is the final ranking. Baker Mayfield finished with 4,000 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, one rushing touchdown as well. So 29 total touchdowns on the year. You take a look at the paragraph, and it's pretty interesting, man. It's pretty interesting. Mayfield enjoyed a career renaissance in Tampa this offseason. You know, former, a lot of Bucks fans have penciled him in as their starter for years to come. I mean, yeah, that is that is very true. That is very, very true. New offense, new offensive coordinator, won the NFC South, went to the playoffs. Dave Canales is, he actually broke 4,000 passing yards for the first time in his career. Congratulations 
to him for that. I believe, I don't have my phone, but he is the only quarterback in Buccaneers history to have, I believe it was over 4,000 passing yards, 28 touchdowns, and 10 or less interceptions. Him and Tom Brady are the only two quarterbacks in team history to achieve that. So, shout out Baker Mayfield. That's pretty cool, in my opinion. So, but, again, talks about Dave Canales getting possible interest for head coaching gigs. Baker Mayfield turned it around this year. He really did. And even if you like Baker, and even if you don't like Baker, I think that even people who don't like Baker, expectations were exceeded for this year. I think that that's the case. In my opinion, people may disagree with this. I think he should be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think he hopefully will be back with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think he has earned it, and I think that he can be a productive quarterback for the Bucs for the foreseeable future. So shout out Baker Mayfield getting number 14 here. Above guys, by the way, like Trevor Lawrence, former number one overall pick, so is Baker Mayfield, by the way. Joe Burrow, former number one overall pick, which before Burrow got hurt, he, he was on a little bit of a downswing this year. I think he definitely could have recovered, but it is notable that through 10 games, you know, only 15 passing touchdowns. It was a bit of a rough year for Burrow. Herbert had a bit of a down year. Also, Geno Smith had a down year, but still not a bad year in my opinion. 20 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 3,600 yards. Still a decent year from... I'm a big... G I, I like Geno Smith. Former West Virginia guy. I like it. But Justin Fields coming in at number 19. So all of these guys, Russell Wilson, I don't I don't know if I agree with Russell Wilson at number 20. I would probably put him up higher, personally. He's going to be a free agent this year. Broncos did him dirty, man. Broncos did him so dirty. But you, you see the guys, man, Derek Carr finished with actually a pretty decent year. 25 touchdowns, 8 picks, 3,878 yards. That's crazy. But you, you see all the guys that Baker Mayfield is above. Right. And while some of them aren't necessary, 21 touchdowns, 21 interceptions. Hello, Sam Howell. That's wild. Uh, Will Levis is out there as well doing some things. But but Baker being in the top half of quarterbacks is not surprising. Daniel Jones, buddy, that's tough. Bailey Zapp, buddy. It was a rough year for quarterback play. Also, I want to say that. But Baker Mayfield being in the top half, being number 14. Shouldn't really surprise a lot of people whenever you do consider the year contextually, whenever you consider some of the, the the years that some other quarterbacks have had. It was a good year for Baker. It was. And Baker, I think, proved that he can be a top half quarterback in the league and can give you some productive football. And he was ranked a, a, a cup above a couple of some legit quarterbacks. Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, Herbert, Geno Smith, Justin Fields, you know, could be a pretty a decently legit quarterback. Russell Wilson, I think, is is underrated on this list. I think he should be a little bit higher. But but Baker's right in that bridge, right? He he is in that gap in the middle between some of those guys that underperformed this year and the top tiers of quarterbacks. <laughs> Hello, Joe Flacco. Uh, Joe Flacco being number 12 is freaking wild, man. But Jordan Love being up there as well and some of these other guys – Right? Like, some of these guys aren't surprising, but you do have Jordan Love up there. You do have Joe Flacco up there as well. And Baker's Baker's right in that conversation. He is, in my opinion, of, of those guys where you could maybe put him up a, a spot or two more, and it wouldn't really be surprising if you had him maybe at Flacco's spot at number 12. I really don't think that that would be surprising people may disagree with that but that's just the way I feel I, I really was that impressed with Mayfield's play this year and I, I do think that he did an excellent job so folks there you have it Baker Mayfield finishes the year as the 14th ranked quarterback in the league out of all the primary quarterbacks for teams according to Nick Shook of around the NFL what do you guys think do you agree do you disagree does this affect your guys thoughts and opinions about bringing Baker Mayfield back let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about this down in the comments section below. Also, real quick, go check out FOCO. I've been talking about them in a lot of different videos. You use my code. You click the... Well, I guess I should say in this order. You click the link. You lose my... You, you, you lose. You click the link. You use. You use my code. BucksNation10 at the checkout. You're going to get 10% off on your order. A lot of cool Bucks stuff in here, personally. Again, the Bucks Vintage shirt is pretty cool, and all of it is is reasonably, reasonably priced, in my opinion. So go check them out. Again, it, it would be another way to support the channel. It would mean a lot to me. 
because uh, it would, uh, you know, just help show Foco that I can, um, you know, help them get some business and be a good partner. So yeah, also, cool hat, right? I'm gonna, I'm buying this hat. You guys can't stop me. I'm gonna wear it in videos. You guys cannot stop me. Look at how happy this man is. He's got a captain's hat. I'm gonna get this captain's hat and live my best life. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. As always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.